All right, uh, early evening here, guys. Good early evening, I should say. This is just going to be a quick tutorial, but I'm going to wait for MV to come in. Um, he was just doing a nice broadcast between the Montreal Royals. Um, they were a team affiliated with the Brooklyn Dodgers back in the 1940s, and a very special story that I will share with uh, MV that I think he'll really like, and I think Big Clue will like it as well. Um, so he played the Kansas City Monarchs, Montreal Royals. Um, really, really excellent. Love how um, MV is really just digging in in all eras of baseball. As uh, Big Clue says, he'll try something. Don't know what he's going to try, but perhaps we don't want to know. So welcome in, my friend. So yeah, fun uh, fun little broadcast um, there by MV, even though it had nothing to do with faction PC baseball. It was a lot of fun. So while we wait for um, the redoubtable West Virginian by way of Cardiff and London and Jamaica, uh, Mr. MV. Um, I think you will if you're a Jackie Robinson fan. Um, you would definitely like this story. It's a nice story. You might already know it, actually. But um, I, I know MV will like it. It has to do with that Montreal uh, Royals team that Jackie played for the year before integration. So, um, a lot of people use FaceGen, and I shall use this time to pontificate for a few moments. I hate FaceGen. Um, while I know it's really, really nice to kind of see the uniforms on the guys and stuff like that, there's so many real player photos out there that you can, um, that you can get with their photos, and it's just going in and uh, changing them up. So, uh, seeing Hannes Wagner, for instance, it, FaceGen is good for more modern players, uh, but it's lousy for old-time players. Um, Hannes Wagner never wore a goatee in his life, and yet FaceGen gives him a goatee, and it kind of just sort of takes away from it. Um, but it's really, really quite easy to choose between the two. Um, super, super fast. It's going to take more time, I think, to tell the Jackie Robinson tale of the Montreal Royals than anything, but we'll wait for our West Virginian to get in there. Big clue. I hope you're doing well today. Um, and, yeah, a little out of the park toot, as it were. Um, I want to continue doing uh, tutorials for this game because um, it's as deep as action PC baseball. And um, I would say in a way it's more it, it, it's more daunting in, in a sense with its interface. Action PC baseball looks simple, but it's just as complex. These two, I can't think of, of, of any more complex baseball simulations digitally right now than out of the park baseball and action PC baseball. Not that I've played them all, but I've played tons. Um, you know, I know that uh, one Mr. Wartburg is a big fan of baseball window for Windows, and while it's a, a very, very good baseball sim, it's nowhere as deep as these two. There's, there's not even a comparison. Um, Digital Diamond can be deep. Um, provided, you know, again, to having, you know, it works a little bit differently, but it's pretty deep. Um, it's unfortunately not one that uh, works really well if you're broadcasting, unfortunately, because there's no sound and people like crowd noises and such like that. And uh, I feel badly because I have Diamond Mind, three versions of Diamond Mind, um, and I've tried playing them a number of times in the channel and it just doesn't work yet. I guess you get a guy rolling dice, uh, watching his hands. Apparently, that's a little bit more fun than uh, Diamond Mind Baseball, which is a shame because Diamond Mind is a hell of a game. Um, crazy accurate. Um, I think JT Dutch is a fan of Diamond Mind Baseball. So there's uh, two of us in the community that really, really like it. I really don't want MV to miss this little story. I think he would like it, but... Uh, who knows what MV's doing? And the the erstwhile and sometimes redoubtable the scoundrel that he is. But uh, man, I love his um, just his his love of the game. Anyhow, uh, Tuesday night will be our um, Howie Shanks 2.0 draft. Um, hoping people are getting. Um, I might have to tap one of my more active mods. I have a couple moderators that kind of just sit here 
Uh, big clue, you're not one of the, you, you, you've been a good mod and everything like that, but I need some mods to just basically do the um, Discord invite and stuff like that because there are people doing it and um, so I really, really would appreciate that. So we'll get to the Jackie Robinson story and maybe hopefully MV will wind back. So what we're going to do is we're going to just start a uh, uh, just a historical game, a season replay. Oh, there he is. All right, good. MV, let me start with the story first, and then we'll go into how to use real player photos in Out of the Park Baseball. Um, so when... It looks like it's just you and me, MV. Uh, so Jackie Robinson played for the Montreal Royals in 1946. It was a way uh, the Branch Rickey wanted to get him into professional baseball, and basically get Major League Baseball ready for integration. Um, so the Montreal Royals won the championship in 1946, and I always loved this story. Uh, basically, Jackie Robinson, the, the, they just loved him so much um, in Canada, and there's no, you know, none of the prejudice, none of the, none of the crap that was happening in America, and. The fans were literally chasing Jackie. He was a hero in that championship in the 1946 Montreal Royals. And Jackie Robinson said later, he said, I think that was the only time that a crowd of mostly white people chased a black man out of love and not to lynch him. And I think that's a beautiful story and worth repeating. Um, and Branch Rickey, very, very shrewd. Um, doing that, having Jackie play professional baseball and easing him in and was treated... Uh, pardon the pun, he was treated like royalty in Canada, didn't run into any of the uh, horrific things that he ran into um, in the major league. In, in fact, many have felt, and including his own widow, um, Rachel, that Jackie really, really, I mean, you look at Jackie Robinson, and shortly after, I mean, he's already turning gray into the 1950s, and what Jackie Robinson had to endure and of course Larry Doby and others, but Jackie was the first um, and what he had to endure, his health, everything, and Rachel said it was, it was terrible to watch this great athlete deteriorate. So uh, Jackie Robinson I believe should hold a special place not only in every baseball fan's heart, but um, Jackie did so much. You know, we talk about the Civil Rights Movement in the United States and you have to remember that when Jackie broke the color barrier um, in 1947, the Civil Rights Act was yet to be enacted. This was before Brown versus Board of Education. Plessy versus Ferguson was still the law of the United States, the separate but equal law. And um, Jackie's Jackie's courage and um, agreeing to Branch Rickey, Branch saying for the first three seasons, you cannot retaliate. And imagine every day the horrific abuse that you took. It was especially bad um, in Philadelphia, uh, the things that Jackie had to face. And so bad there that uh, Pee Wee Reese, remember Pee Wee Reese is a southerner. And he was asked before the start of the 1947, he said, what, you know, what about this kid Robinson? You know, what, what are you going to do? What do you have to say if he's going to take your job? Pee Wee said... If he's good enough to take my job, he's welcome to it. He and Pee Wee Reese became very close friends, but there was a particularly nasty game in Philadelphia. And Jackie was just absolutely subject to a, the, the most despicable torrent abuse of, of abuse because he was a man of color. And during the game, um, Pee Wee Reese made such an amazing gesture. Just walked over to Jackie and just put his arm around his shoulder. And that took courage, and there was a southerner, Red Barber, who was from the south and was the broadcaster for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He said um, that he was actually against integration. He said, but you know, after getting to know Jackie and seeing his playing, he said, I was wrong. And there were others that came back and said, I was so wrong. And it was because of Jackie Robinson's courage. And it drives me nuts that... Uh, not only like the general baseball fans don't understand, but you know I, I meet so many um, athletes of color that don't really understand what Jackie Robinson did. And I know their heroes are Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, and those are good heroes to have. 
but without Jackie, without Jackie, none of that would have been possible. So um, there was a few years ago I did a game, um, and with each inning we just talked about Jackie Robinson, and um, that was one of the most rewarding um, things I've ever done on this channel. And so uh, Jackie Robinson holds a very, very special place in my heart. And, uh, of course, Larry Doby in 1948, um, he was the first um, player of color to break the, the, the barrier in the American League and face Torrance and Torrance there. But it might have been slightly easier for Doby because um, the barrier was broken and you saw Satchel Paige in 1948. Um, the funny upshot of it all, so not to be all gloom and doom, is many Negro League players were saying that once Jackie made it and then you started seeing Campanella coming up and Campanella um, had two strikes against him at that time in America as well. Campanella, um, half uh, African American, half Italian. There was, not enough, there was not a lot of love for Italians in America um, at that time either. So, um, but they said that once Jackie made it, we knew that that was the end of our leagues. Um, so, you know, again, to quote Ken Burns Baseball, um, on 15 April 1947, baseball finally became, in reality, what always claimed to be the national pastime. Branch Rickey was a serious pioneer. Oh, my God. In fact, guess who signed the very first Latin American baseball star? Branch Rickey. So after Rickey was kind of given the heave hole from the, um, the St. Louis Cardinals, he went to work for the Pittsburgh Pirates and was responsible for none other than Roberto Clemente. So not only um, pioneering affiliated farm teams, the integration of modern baseball, um, signing the first African-American star, also signing the first great Latin American star. Um, Roberto, he signed Clemente. And so Branch Rickey, um, if anybody deserves Hall of Fame, a non-player, um, it's Branch Rickey. He was brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. John DFW. Um, yes, Ben Chapman was absolutely vile in that game. He was terrible. Terrible, 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 Ben Chapman. Ben Chapman was a bit of an asshole, anyhow. John DFW says, even in 1974, Hank... Yes, he did. He got hate mail. He got death threats when he was chasing Babe Ruth's record. Um, and yes, Bill Veck also deserves praise. He does. Um, and as a pioneer, too. Yeah, Veck. Joe Garagiola. Uh, uh, Leo DeRocher. So when Kirby Higby, Dixie Walker, and a bunch of those ass clowns were threatening to leave the Dodgers, DeRocher, who is managing the Brooklyn Dodgers uh, going into the 1947, said, this kid's coming up. He's good, and if you don't like it, we'll trade your asses. And a few of them held out. And uh, they got shipped off to teams like Pittsburgh and whatever. And, yeah, I'm a proud Pittsburgh Pirates fan, but there's one more little story to be told. Um, in the 1930s, the Pirates were still a power to contend with. They started their downfall in the 1940s, really, and wouldn't see again to the 1960s. But um, the Pittsburgh Pirates were sent a list of players in the 1930s, including Josh Gibson, Satch Page, all these great players, and it was addressed to Pie Trainer, who was managing the Pirates by that point, and Trainer never answered. The Pirates would have gone on to absolute dominance. They wouldn't have had the terrible decade they had in the 1940s, the decades in the 40s and the 50s, except for 1958. Um, the Pirates really had first crack, but it was it was Branch Rickey, stemmed from when he was um, he was managing the Ohio Wesleyan University. Um, team, and they stopped at a hotel, and uh, the the hotel wouldn't admit the team because they had a black player, and Ricky never forgot that, and um, just you know, I will go so far to say as Branch Ricky should not only, I mean, he is in the Hall of Fame, but just one of the greatest Americans, if you will, and, and, and what he did. All right, with that being said, we're going to just start historical season just to show you player 
um, player photos are easy now the and the good news is that the player photos that you have in action PC baseball will work in out of the park baseball I do suggest you get the latest um, photo packs they're available on the out of the park forums the action piece forums they use the same naming convention okay you typed branch Ricky and it came out and it came out wrong all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up season replay imported season and uh, we'll just pick a year it, it doesn't matter it really really doesn't matter so we'll take modern times 2005 and we'll take the 2015 um, what I like to do is import the complete history of baseball up to 2015 one second please all right so always a good idea I, I think to um, import everything Negro Leagues, I would say only if you're doing it up to 1950. You're not really going to need it for something this new. I wouldn't use random players for all from all eras. This is just for setting up a league, so it's a double tutorial. Um, so let's go to our next step. And so it's going to load that database. And again, using using player photos is, is I, I don't I just don't I personally do not like face gen. So yeah, I'm not going to keep this season going, John. This is more about picks. So not doing neutralized stats, but thank you for that. Um, I'll I'll probably actually delete this after I create it. So even though the Pirates had a hell of a good year in 2015, um, this is not a league I'm going to keep. But yeah, definitely, definitely neutralized stats. Good idea. By the way, I don't know if you guys are re realize this or not. You can change. There are different databases um, in Out of the Park Baseball. There's not just one. And in fact, that th there's a certain database you have to go to when you want to import historical players. All right. So I always suggest if you're doing a straight up season replay use real transactions use real lineups um, now since we're doing 2015 I want all of the way I want every minor league and require full rosters and definitely block fictional players when you're playing this late you're gonna be able to fill everything up okay so now the next step we go all right if you're doing a season replay disable player envelopment um, I always turn this off because I don't give a damn about financials. If you want to do financials, there it is. Um, automatically expand league. You're going to play that. You're going to use that um, if you're if you're doing back on the other screen. If you're not doing a season single season replay, but a career mode, you want to do automatically expand league, especially if you have um, the stadium mod. The stadium mod works in conjunction with um, uh, automatically expanding league. There's Bernard. Bernard, I'm going to be catching a game of yours this evening after I have some dinners. Okay. Yes, definitely add Henry Chadwick to the list. Absolutely. Next step. All right. You scouting, that's up to you. Um, ratings, again, I like 1 to 100. Um, the, the the 20 to 80 in ba Major League Baseball makes no sense to me. This is the most important part for using players right here is face gen settings. You want to use real players, make sure that you have no fictional pictures selected for either coach pictures or player pictures. Now, you're wondering, where are my player photos? Well, I'll show you. I'll show you because I'm just a nice guy like that. All right. So depending upon where you have Steam, if you have it on Steam, all right, we'll go there first because I have it on my D drive in Steam. I'm going to go up here, and uh, we're going to get down to Program Files, blah, 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 
x86 and then we're going to go to Steam and in Steam you want to go to Steam Apps Common and that's where you find the games that you have installed there on this particular drive. So we go to Out of the, pa out of the Park Baseball 24 Data now here's the thing that trips people up there is a photo called picture or there's this folder called picture subfolder and a subdirectory called photos it's photos that you want so take your action PC stuff and copy it right into the photos directory and there's 34,000 uh, photos in here and so you'll ha you'll see guys like with different um, different years, whatever, with different livery that they're wearing, so we can see Al Schlegel, uh, which I don't even know him, as a pirate or Shugel, I guess, and also as whatever team that is. So there's where they are, and so the game will know to look there when you select no uh, fictional players. This is the most important thing that you can do, alright? So again, that path is whatever drive, program files x86 steam, Steam apps, common, out of the park 24 data photos. If you have it in, if you bought out of the park baseball not on Steam, it's going to be C program files x86. Um, I believe out of the park developments, blah blah blah. Basically, what you're going to be looking for is the data and then photo subdirectory. So, but that's where you're going to put all these player photos. Again, do not put them in pictures, these guys won't show up. All right so no fictional pictures next step alright again call it whatever you want I'm just gonna call it um, just photo test and again I'm just gonna take it right back out so it really doesn't doesn't matter what you call it here alright and then 2015 autosave once a year your role GM and manager none of that matters um, what I would say though if you wanna have a lot of freedom with your leagues guys and you want to be able to import historical players, you want to have some fun with it. And if you want to create your own league, by the way, where you're bringing in either batch import players or single import players in Out of the Park Baseball, play in Commissioner mode. Because that gives you, um, there's other reasons too. So as you guys know, like right now I'm doing that all-times league, that all-time great, greats league. When you play in Commissioner mode, it allows you to, you have to pick, um, you have to pick a team that you're going to manage which you can actually manage and do roster moves for any other team as well that's why I suggest doing that I like cannot be fired but it doesn't matter I just do it go to the next step and now everything will initialize and it's assigning logos and pictures if you have the uniform mod and you have the stadium mod the logos and the uniforms will be appropriate for the season that you've selected Right, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's great in the game, but yeah, Bernard says he uses real photos last year. It's only aggravating if you're playing the 2023 season. Right, trying to keep up all the players that change teams. Absolutely. Hey, Todd B. Um, I'm and again, I, I, I 2023 season. I mean, I I'm just watching it unfold. You can play it right along with Out of the Park Baseball, which is really cool. I think Digital Diamonds doing something similar, which is cool. And actually, while I'm waiting for this, I want to check because I know um, they were just getting started um, in Pittsburgh. It's the Pirates and the Reds. And the Pirates are leading the Reds 2 to nothing in the bottom of fourth. Pirates riding a four-game win streak right now. So, guys, I hope you did subscribe to um, Bernard uh, Strom's Sports Replays. Uh, right, I know he's doing PC Replay Baseball. All right, here we are, and there you can see, so um, everything's set. Of course, I'm just going to take the Pittsburgh Pirates, of course, and start game. So it's, gonna, it's linking up everything now, all those player photos, onto their proper teams, loading of transactions, um, everything. It's, it's, it's doing it all. If anybody ever wants to, uh, no, it's actually, we're having a, it's clouding up where I am, but 
I don't see that it's if there's any rain in Pittsburgh right now. So I'm not I'm not watching the game. I mean, I I want to get a PS2, so I've decided to forego MLB TV. If the Buckos keep it up after the All Star break, then yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. But uh, PS2, I'm really looking forward to getting that. And uh, some of those cool mods that are out there, it's going to be a blast. It's loading all the colors XML files. I mean, this this game really, really pulls it in and does um, great things. You just got to be patient. And remember, I've loaded in all the entire minor leagues as well. You don't have to do it, but if you want to avoid fictional players, do it. If you're doing one of the leagues where you're mixing up teams from different eras or whatever, you don't have to do it. So there we go. So um, opening day, we're going to see Johnny Cueto and Garrett Cole, and that's exactly how it started. But let's go to Pirates and Player List. And if I mouse over anybody, um, anybody that still has a face gen picture, it's just because there may not be a, a picture in that photo pack. All right. So there's a few players that are missing, but most of these guys, just about everybody has their actual photos, which is really nice. I just don't, mine's just not completely updated. Uh, but there's Jordy Mercer. There's his picture, the whole thing. And that's how you use photos. Um, you can have it rescanned. So let's say you're in the game and you're like, oh, geez, I'm missing some pictures. You want to you wanna download a photo pack? Um, you can definitely do that. And then um, the game will actually rescan for pictures, which is really, really nice. That's pretty much it. I don't know if anybody wants any other... Um, Hey, give me one second here, guys. Sorry, guys, had to take an important call. Yeah, you know, so Bernard, I agree. I agree with you. Um, he says he really can't decide which game he likes better, action PC or out of the park. Both great. I say they complement one another, and if you can get both, you should get both. They're, they're, they're both, yeah, they're both. Todd B says, yeah, for the money, out of the park is definitely the better bang for the buck. You get not only every major league season, but every league minor season, the Negro Leagues. Um, and, yeah. But, again, with Dave Cook, in fact, he has a sale coming up this weekend. And if you want to fill in your... You haven't got the 1990s in Action PC, the whole decade's 27 bucks. Um, and in comparison, uh, the 2023 uh, or the 2022 season is 25 bucks. Uh, but he has so many sales. He does. So that's it, and if we were to play a game, we'll go ahead and, uh, I guess, do one. We're not going to configure, and we'll be able to, I have no idea. So opening day, it's calculating league stats, and you'll get to see most of the players. Again, you're going to see some face gen, and it will do face gen if there's not a picture. Or sometimes it will just, you can turn that off, and it will just put the team's logo in there if you want. Um, no, John, it's 1871 to 2023 with Out of the Park Baseball. The problem is in tournaments. Um, you can, so I can, sh I should have set one up. You can do 19th century. You don't need a code for either game with, uh, that's nice. Um, I don't know. You should let, you should let Dave Cook know because I've never had any, tr I don't, there's nothing on the sale, um, that I want. I have everything for this game. Yeah, John, the only thing is you can't do 
um, you can't do tournaments with the 19th century. But uh, 1901 to 2023, or 2022, I should say, is Baseball Mogul Plus. You can play 2023. Um, Action PC goes back to 1880. I think Dave making a wise decision not to do 1870. I've never touched 1870s baseball, my friend. Not at all. All right, so we're here, and we're going to play uh, to, oh, my God, the Cincinnati Reds. How weird is that? All right. Continue. I'm done reading important messages. Play a game at Cincinnati. And so you can see a few guys. There's a few face gen pictures, but most of these guys, their photos are in here and ready to go. So there's not going to be a full game. Just want to show you. Going to Great American Ballpark. There you go. So you can tell the face gen guys, right? And that's, again, that's only because my player pack isn't updated. But, you know, click on Todd Frazier, and uh, we'd see his picture in here somewhere or whatever. I don't know. But anyhow, let's get back to the game. Um, as you guys can see there on the screen. There, there's uh, Devin, uh, Devin Mesoraco, real photo for him. There's Jay Bruce, uh, Marlon Bird, Todd Frazier. So that's how you do it. That's how you get real photos in. That's it. And if I would, and again, these look pretty good. Face Gen looks pretty good for modern players, but not for old time players. So we'll just have fun here for an inning. If there's any other tutorials you guys would want to do, I know that. The one I did in importing historical players, there wasn't a lot of people here. So um, if you want to see how that's done, I'll show you. Be glad to. Yep, DK Sports. Uh, yeah, with anything over $100, you get 20% off. So, But anyhow, I don't think we need to uh, go on with this. Because I have no plans of doing 2005 and or 2015. According to the email, it looks like it's a basketball and hockey sale, hence players for the code. Yeah, so Todd B, there are there is a sale for baseball, but you don't have to use the code. So let's go ahead and just send this out because I'm not going to play this. Uh, but again, guys, there's Gregory Polanco and there's his real photo. Blanco swings, and again, oh, base hit. Way to go, Gregory. All right. Anyhow, we're just going to simulate this game. And uh, the Cincinnati Reds defeat the Pirates 6-1. to one. All right. Now, let's go back to the out-of-the-park um, start screen. Just to show, I just wanted to show John DFW um, about the season selections that you can. So we'll do a new historical game, but I'm not going to. And there, there you can see it. I don't even have to start it. Play any historical season 1871 to 2022. So there it is. The only thing you can't do with 19th century, which sucks, is you can't do them in a tournament. So if you were doing a historic exhibition, which is the easiest way to set these up, you can go anywhere from two to 70 teams and start mixing up, pick any World Series. However, as you see here in the selection, I think, John, this is what you were thinking of, is it only goes back to 1901 for um, these types of things. So we'll return to the main screen. That's pretty much it, but think about some things that you might want to do. So, but let's look at DK Sports before we sign off. I'll be back a little later to do a game. Um, if anybody wants a game of something, definitely be glad to do that for you. All right, come on, mate. There we go. Nice. Because I just visited uh, DK Sports um, right before I went to MV Stream. Go to Shop. Let's go to Baseball Seasons. And, uh,. There you can see, right? 
Um, these are nice prices, and sometimes he even goes lower. So I'm just looking at 1950s. Um, but let's look at 19, uh, what everybody likes, it seems, here. So look, the eight, the, you're getting seasons here for $9.59. Uh, let's see what he's doing here for complete decades, for anybody that might be interested. Um, bup, 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 bup. Best of, is it special collections? Oh, complete decades. There we go. The complete decades are on sale, guys. All of them. Some of them cheaper than others. So the big... So these are regularly $85. All right, right now you can get the 1990s if you if you don't have them for $27.20. The other ones though, that's a pretty nice discount. Uh, they're normally $85, complete decades on sale for the other decades, $54.40. Um, if you want all the 19th century baseball, big discount on that. It's goes from um, $414 to um, $112. So, but right now, 1990s, and he does all these little sort of flash sales through the years. Um, just quickly, let's see. Um, I don't think, yeah, Baseball Complete is not on sale, but if you buy it, you do get the 100 beans off. So, that's up to you. I mean, it's, it's um, I had to buy it over the years. MV bought it all at once. Um, classic Decades, there. So you want classic decades, nice sales here, um, all the way through. Dave Cook is amazing. Um, so best of collection. So some of these things aren't on sale, obviously, uh, but they're good. They're really good. I recommend, I like the franchise best collection, but wait for them to go on sale if you want. But look how many teams you get. So let's say baseball 2000s, um, franchise best collection. Okay, and just for gigs, this is it 18 bucks? Look how many teams you get for $18. Mix and match anything. I'm going to take it upon myself to do the 2010s because uh, Dave, for all his great sales, has a habit of not completing projects. So, um, so this is a file where it's the best record for each franchise for that decade. 18 bucks. You can't be it. There's, there's, what, 30 teams here, I believe? So, good deal. Good deals all the way around. And I do like to buy things um, also full price. I know we like to wait for sales, but uh, he's a great developer. There's Steve Tate. Yeah, if you spend 100 bucks, you get another 20% off that. So, it's such a great deal. But, yeah, Todd B., for 27 bucks for an entire decade, you can't beat it. You really, really can't. Action PC Baseball is more, if you're like me, and you, you, you have to have, you want every season, then it's a considerable investment, unless you're like MV and you got, um, you know, a, a few hundred quid lying around and buy it all at once. But like Big Clue and I, and I think Steve has done the same thing. We've just sort of bought the seasons and decades um over the years, the only thing I don't have is the 2022 season. Uh, but right now, it's still 25 bucks, so that I'm going to wait for a sale. Just I want it for completion's sake. Um, yeah, but right now, guys, for single seasons, you're talking nine dollars and fifty-nine cents. Compare that to PC Replay Baseball for 24.99 a season, and those guys never have sales. Um, the Negro League set, there you go, there's, a, there's, I've got all these, but with Steve Tate's files, meh. Um, another one that I would suggest, and I know this is an out-of-the-park stream, but since we're talking, I want to see what's on sale. Special Collections is a blast. Even not on sale, the Baseball History Collection is one of the best, absolute best buys you can make. This is just brilliant. You have all these subsets, and there is absolutely nothing. So new for 2022, um, players sorted by their country of birth. Um, you also have the state file if you have earlier versions of this. But um, this is another one. Baseball's 160 greatest teams, $35. Um, 80 teams from each league, you get a 162-game schedule. 
um, and port them into your own leagues. Right here, just 160 teams. What you have, um, it's almost as good as Steve Tate's 180 plus teams for free. Um, this is just so much value. I'm not going to look at the other lesser sports. You guys can do that. But um, seasons are on sale, 10 bucks a season. You're not going to get a better price anywhere except for free. You snap the history collection up one time for under 40 bucks. Yeah, it will. Apple is spending all their marketing budget on Robbie. Oh, my God. So I hope that's settled. I really hope that's settled. I w so to let you guys know, I wasn't missing Robbie's point. But, John, basically, I bought the game. And I even hate saying this because I'm not trying to say, like, I'm such a good guy for doing this. I wanted to do Aaron Reed a favor, something I promised him for, for a couple months. I bought baseball for Windows 2. When I wrote to John, all I said was, is there a way that this link could be mailed directly to a friend? He has been sightless since birth. I think your game would be perfect for him. A lot of folks on the YouTube channel really like it. And so, is there any way you can do it? Um, it took John a few hours to fulfill the order, and all he said was, uh, please share this link with your friend. And... I love you, Robbie. You're probably lurking out there if Texas isn't playing right now. I'm not angry at you. But, you know, I mean, John, I, I bought the product. And John sent me the link to the product. That's all that really happened. It had nothing to do with the fact that Aaron is sightless or anything like that. John made some money and just said, yeah, share this link with your friend. Um, which actually is, you know, they have no copy protection you know, I could share that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that, of course. I could share baseball for Windows with anybody, but I'm not going to do that. That's not cool. But that's all he did. Um, I know lo Robbie loves it. I love baseball for Windows, too, but um, Apple's got a long way to go before I'm going to say they have the customer service at the Dave Cook level. Um, this is, uh, in my estimation, guys, and this is the absolute best customer service for digital baseball sims extant. It really is. Yeah, I mean, I know, I love Robbie. He's, he's a great guy. Um, he's a great guy, but I, again, he, you know, lionizing John throughout the Discord and the, and, and, the, and the broadcast. That's why I wrote that message in the Discord. I didn't mean to sound harsh, but it was Robbie, it was, it was basically just I bought a product and John delivered it. And, I mean, Stratomatic Baseball did that, too, when I mistakenly played Strat PC for a while. So, uh, but Robbie was, you know, waxing poetic. That was excellent and classy and wonderful. And to me, it's it's just like in the job I do, we sell something. I don't do anything noble there. But it's not a knock on Robbie. I just, I just I'd say be careful about making somebody your hero yet. When we go to their website, uh, you still can't buy the stadiums yet as downloads and it's it drives me nuts it would take me one day guys one freaking day the only thing available for download is the game still for stadiums it costs you six dollars per cd plus shipping right so and you can get all these parts they don't even have every park but there they are so if you wanted to buy every park, I'm going to guess there's 50 parks in here. It's going to cost you $300. Plus, it's going to be, what, 30? It's going to be however many ballparks it is. And and these are tiny files. These I, I think the largest I've ever seen is like a one, one... I think there was like a 1.2 gigabyte file. These are so small. Most of these are in the megabyte size. I don't know when they're ever going to do it. But I'll be damned if I'm going to buy a CD for all of these ballparks. That's just not going to happen. Yep. So, uh, yeah. And on the other hand, sorry, sorry, Strat players, but it is true. Stratomatic, and I've told you guys the story. But I'll tell you again. I'm still living in Europe. I bought Stratomatic PC baseball. Spent a lot of money on that thing, man. I, I, I put like 400 bucks into that game. Not as much as I put into Action PC, but four hundred dollars isn't something to sneeze at. So I got a new PC and I wrote to Strat customer service and said, "Hey guys, I got a new PC. I just want to know, can I switch my license over?" 
Well, after two weeks and three emails, so APA's better at this too, right? They get back to me, well, guys, I'm serious. I am not making this up. They wanted to install TeamViewer software, get onto my old PC to make sure that everything was going across and I had to delete from my the first PC. And I have, and I've told you guys, I don't condone software piracy, but Strat PCs, uh, serial number protection of their seasons is archaic. It's it, it's the same copy protection the games were using back in Windows 3.1. It's it's based on, I'll just say this, it's based on the 14 system. And if anybody's messing about with computers, you know that if you know the 14 system, you can crack those. That's all I'm going to say. And so I decided, bugger off. And I, actually, I I deleted it from that PC, and I will never play Strat PC again. I'd play Strat Cards and Dice, but I will never play Strat PC again until Hal retires and they actually get real customer service. So I'll give Robbie this. APA is better. They are better, but only marginally. Yeah, Mark's really good with Digital Diamond Baseball, but Dave Cook is king, man. Dave Cook is king yeah they have stadium discs for sale but it's going to cost you a fortune mv six it's so so for you it's going to be what it's going to be six pounds and it's only one ballpark on a cd and you're going to have to pay shipping from alpharetta georgia to cardiff wales clay dresslaw is good as well yeah clay's good clay is good I think Dave's the best. Dave's the best. Anyhow, if anybody wants any other sort of tutorials about Out of the Park 24, getting in depth, working with the scouting system, the drafting system, editing players, managing down to level, this can do this in action PC baseball, in my estimation, are the two best baseball games you can have if you're going to play digital baseball. No knock on the others, except Strat PC. And besides that, MV. If you're a member of Digital Skybox, there's also... You want ballparks for baseball for Windows? I'm going to show you one more thing. Get ready for this. All right. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to have sort of everything, but you're going to be able to have uh, ballparks for um, enough baseball parks to cover yourself. So let me show you the site, MV. And I am going to put this link into the chat. So you see here, let me make sure that the uh, stream is catching up. There it is. Good, good, good. All right. So you have APA stadiums. So this is from a site called APA Zip. So it has, like, you can see there's all kinds of ballparks. And it's not just for baseball. It's for the lesser sports as well. So there's F-ball, golf, bowling, basketball, what have you, um, hockey. How to get um, automatic transaction manager working with um APA 5.75. And another thing I'll give to Robbie Wartberg, which I actually had stated this to him. I'll, or, um, <sighs> Baseball for Windows has provided this wonderful little tool called Migration Tool. And the Migration Tool, basically, any season that you've created or any leagues that you played uh, from earlier versions, Baseball for Windows, you get to bring them in for free, so you don't have to buy any seasons. Class move on the part of APA. I'll give them that. Anyhow, I wanted to show you this, MV. So we go to stadiums, current MLB stadiums. That should be enough to get you started. You just unzip these, and they're super, super easy to install. Okay. Um, minor league stadiums, there's a, a little tassel of them there. And then there's another, there's some more minor league stadiums. These are nice to use, I think, if you want to use Negro Leagues. Uh, these are pretty cool. And then, and then, and then, and then, so we turn to stadium page and historic stadiums. So you really, really, really have enough stadiums. You don't have to spend a penny. Spend a penny, get it? Uh, 
Well, the Brits and the Irish get that one, so. You need a tutorial on how to set hot dog prices out of the park. Has importing Negro League players improved in out of the park? I haven't tried it yet, MV. I have not tried it. App of Basketball says Todd takes about three months to complete a game. Never tried it. Don't think I ever want to. Uh, there's another thing that would be of interest um, to uh, Robbie, if, uh, and I'm not sure if he's aware of this. Uh, there's all kinds of things that you can do in here um, as far as like how to re you can rename managers. It doesn't change the manager's like strategies or whatever, but say like you have like Jake Conley, well you can name rename Jake Conley to John McGraw or you know what have you. So pretty pretty cool stuff. Um, lot going on. Um, I don't know about this micro league manager. Nope, no redirect there. So, uh, but Appa Zip, go there and get some ballparks. Have fun. You can even get Field of Dreams if you want. Guess that's it. Well, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done with the fun. Because I think Robert RJL Network. I'm sure. Most folks want to go over and catch some 1988 baseball, and I think he is on. Let me see. Because it's muy importante. Yep. So, hey, I'm only one viewer less than he. Wow, that's amazing. So he's doing, um, this is Montreal. This is the NLCS game one, um, 1988 Montreal Expo Expos versus the 1988 uh, New York Giants. So, for those of you who are interested, I'm going to be ending here anyhow. And, oh, hey, look at this. Now Cincinnati ties it up in a six. It's 2-2, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh. All right. Hey, you're welcome, Bernard. And I'm going to be catching your, your action, my man. So, Bernard, new to the uh, creator community. And we welcome him. And looking forward to lots of good stuff. MV did a great, great uh, broadcast earlier today. Check it out. Head to head tonight? Yeah, I'll kick your ass, Steve. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we can play some head to head. Um, I'm all fine with it. We can decide what we want to, you know, what we want to play. And let's have some fun, buddy. I think you and I are. E no, you're one game up on me now. So I got to try to draw even on whatever we decide to play. Would love to play some head to head. So, guys, look for that. Steve, I don't know what you're, you're looking like, but I can be back here probably 9 o'clock Eastern time, so 7 o'clock your time. Does that work for you, or do you want me to go a little later? He's free. Thank you, Bobby, for coming in. I'm free in freedom. I'm sorry. I was going to channel my inner who. All right. Steve, I'll catch you about an hour or so, so we'll have some head-to-head -head baseball. Uh, between Steve Tate and I, and I'll get my ass kicked again, but it'll be fun. All right, thanks to MV, or thanks to Big Clue, MV, Steve Tate, Bobby Catalano, Bernard Strums, or Strums, 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 got to learn how to pronounce it, Sports Replays, Todd B, Pib99, Paisan Motograzzi, Todd B, I said Todd, I'm saying everybody's names again, John DFW, and that's it. And Robbie Wartburg, if you're out there a lurking, we'd love you, buddy. All right, I'll ping you on Discord. All right, see you guys around the batting cage, and you get to watch Steve kick my arse in about an hour. See you then.